Well, a game of the Cotton Bowl that folks here can tell their grandchildren about. One of the greats in this tremendous rivalry, 80 points combined, 873 yards. But the story had to be Texas answering. Here's a team that had not trailed in 11 quarters, down 11, fighting back, took the lead for good midway fourth. Well, first of all, the, the answer against an Oklahoma pass defense, it's probably below average, not even in the top 10. They're a top 10 team offensively, but they don't have a pass rush. They make stupid mistakes on defense. They play poorly on the kicking game. They fake the putt that would kill them. They had a kickoff return against them. That was not a number one football team's performance, particularly on defense. They gave up 45 points, 438 yards. Well, in my opinion, I think the team they were playing had a lot to do with it, with the exception of the mental errors that you touched on. I was really, really impressed with this Texas football team trailing, as Chris mentioned, not once or twice, more like five or six times, and they kept fighting. They kept coming back. I think you have to point to the, in the trenches on the defensive line and the offensive line. They got better as the game went on, and of course, Colt McCoy, amazing leadership from he and Brian Arakpo. This Texas team made a statement to Today to the entire country that they are a team to take into consideration for the top one or two teams in the country. Yeah, Will Muschamp brought over here, paid a lot of money to coordinate the defense. He didn't care about stats. He says stats are for losers. Give up five touchdown passes with the huge stop after Texas took the lead. Third and three, Oklahoma couldn't get the first down. That was it right there. There's no doubt in my mind that Texas absolutely wanted his football game more than Oklahoma. I'll guarantee I'm on the sideline. The best players did not win this game. The best team won this game. They wanted it more. Kirk on the sideline, yeah. you can see that leadership, especially that Oklahoma has no leadership on defense. You, you, you know, you, you can say a lot about, that's a great point, because Texas points back to last year's Holiday Bowl, where their team really came together, and it, we're killing them here with the men, and the team came together and it really carried over into this season. And I think when they get into crunch time, this team believes in themselves. They've been through a lot this, this Texas team the seniors they found a way to win and I'll tell you it's a tight knit group Texas making a lot of noise today here at the Cotton Bowl you can count on that Missouri visits Austin next week in a humongous showdown sweet one for the Longhorns maybe the sweetest ever